If you love coffee, new research shows that your heart might love it too. Research found that those who drank three to five cups a day were less likely to have clogged arteries. But there is a lot of confusion over when it comes to the effect of coffee on our health. Some studies have linked consumption to heart risk factors such as raised cholesterol or blood pressure. So what is the truth? Who should we listen to? With me is the nutritionist Nicole Berberian from the British Dietetic Association. Um, Nicole, is this ever going to be a definitive word on the benefits of something like coffee? This study isn't going to give you a final answer. As with all the other studies that you mentioned, none of them are going to give you the final answer because they all look at just one component, typically one snapshot in time, those particular studies. This one is doing exactly that snapshot in time. Heart disease takes years to build up. That means there's going to be multiple factors over those years in those patients that they've looked at that could be coming into it. And that you're not going to pick up in a study like this, which is why we get these headlines. One day it's showing one benefit, oh, yes. one day it's showing the other one. So you're so, not convinced by the science behind this particular uh, It's result. interesting. We hold it and it will build with time and we'll see, see where it goes. But the bottom line with all of this, with heart disease, we, we've still got the same message and that's unlikely to change, which is that if you're starting to gain weight, that's going to be a major factor. If you're not exercising and you're gaining weight, and your smoking, those are always going to be your key factors that are going to be driving your heart disease. When we get a, a single food stuff or drink stuff being singled out like that, like, a, like a, a coffee or a red wine and the benefits highlighted, are you saying that those benefits are being promoted while bad stuff might not be mentioned, being mentioned at the same time? In all of these, as, as we've said, we, one day you'll have a study that's picking out a positive and next day you might find a study that's picking a negative. Such as with alcohol, we have that all the time with red wine, we have the positive effects because it's got antioxidants and it does and therefore it does have some positive components. But then if you look at cancer, we know that alcohol is related even in certain smaller doses to, to some of the cancers that we're looking at. So therefore you've again got to stop, take common sense and look at your general diet. Does it look healthy? Does it look balanced? Is anything in excess? And all of these things in moderation are likely to work. Right, so your advice, looking at all these studies, all the headlines we see day after day perhaps conflicting, is take a step back and, and look at the bigger picture. And this phrase we hear all the time, moderation. Moderation, yes, but the taking a step back is what's really happening to your health. How are you feeling? Are you gaining weight? Are you, um, are you finding that over time your fitness levels are going down? That means you need to start doing something about it. Look at the balance of your diet. Do you have the vegetables and the fruits in there? Do you have the pulses, the oily fish? We know these are all good. So don't just go out and start drinking coffee and think that's fine. Absolutely. Okay. Look in at the balance. In moderation, it, Nicole. We have it, to it's it. common sense. Nicole Berberian, thank you very much You're indeed. You're welcome.